A large group of Palestinians set fire to the compound containing Joseph's tomb in the West Bank city of Nablus, the Israeli media reported early Friday morning. Channel 2 television said that the Palestinian Authority security forces dispersed the 100-strong crowd and managed to douse the fire at the tomb, which is believed to contain the remains of the biblical patriarch Joseph. A British senior citizen was detained in Saudi Arabia last August when authorities found bottles of homemade wine in his car. He now faces a sentence of 300 public lashes, a punishment he would not survive, his daughter told the BBC. The Briton has spent the past quarter of a century working as an oil executive in Saudi Arabia, where, under Sharia law, alcohol is illegal. Last year, Saudi police arrested a 57-year-old Australian man who was found in possession of homemade alcohol. He served five months in jail and received 28 lashes. Iran's test of a ballistic missile earlier this week is a clear violation of a UN Security Council resolution and sends a worrying message, the French foreign minister said on Thursday. Iran tested a new precision-guided ballistic missile on Sunday in defiance of a United Nations ban, signaling an apparent advance in Iranian attempts to improve the accuracy of its missile arsenal. Iranian television also stated that the Guardian Council, one of the top leadership bodies in Iran's cleric rule system, gave final approval to a bill passed by parliament to implement the Iranian nuclear deal. <laughs> Facebook announced Monday that it will use the Israeli Amos 6 communication satellite, manufactured by Israel's aerospace industries, to provide internet access to sub-Saharan African nations as part of its internet.org project. The U.S. social media giant plans to provide internet access to millions of African in 14 African nations using the Israeli satellite. For the Rebel Dab Media, I'm Miguel Hecht. Ow! We're building a studio. Help us out. Click here or visit buildthedream.ca.